two other forms of relief that are also included on the application for asylum. So the I-589 application for asylum is also an application for withholding of removal and CAT, which is the Convention Against Torture, okay? Withholding of removal is very similar to asylum. The only reason that you would want to pursue this avenue of relief instead of asylum is if you're applying more than a year after your arrival in the U.S. and you're not eligible for asylum anymore. There are some exceptions um, to the one-year bar for asylum, but if you don't meet those exceptions and you don't have a really good explanation for why you didn't apply within one year, then you may want to um, consider withholding of removal. The issue or the sort of challenge with withholding of removal is that it's a higher burden of proof. So like I said before, with asylum, you have to show that it's likely, meaning that there's a 10% chance or so that you would be harmed if you go back to your home country. With withholding of removal, you have to prove that it's more likely than not, meaning that there's a 50% chance. Um, again, these things are hard to quantify, but you're just showing them that it's really likely that if you go back home, you're going to experience harm, okay? Um, and then this is also not a pathway to um, residency, and you don't get derivative um, benefits for your spouse and children. So like I said before, um, asylum is a pathway to a green card and citizenship. Withholding is not. Asylum also helps you bring your family over, your spouse or your kids. Withholding, you do not. All withholding is saying is that we're not going to remove you because you might be harmed, but you don't get the same benefits as asylum. Очень важно, это, как раз, не все об этом нам рассказывают обычно, что асайлом вы должны в течение года, но только есть несколько исключений, почему вы будете подавать позже года, вы должны подходить под категорию, которую государство рассматривает. Но если вы, например, действительно не успели подать на асайлом, у вас есть возможность подать на такую не программу, а категорию, что вы будете защищены от депортации, но это не дает вам те же самые бенефиты, что асайлом. Но вам нужно более четко доказать, почему вас не должны отсюда депортировать, на основании каких, что у вас есть страхи, тогда вам надо более четкую базу доказательную. Да? И плюс этот withholding removal, то есть защита от депортации, не дает вам права получения тех же самых бенефитов, как, например, на ваших супругов, детей и тому подобное. И это вам то и не дает даже статус вам в грин-карте. Это просто защищает вас от немедленной депортации. Okay. And the last form of relief that I'm going to discuss is the Convention Against Torture. This is also, like I said before, included in the asylum application. Now, this is for individuals who've experienced torture in their home country, okay? And torture can be per defined um, pretty broadly as well. However, it's not defined as broadly as persecution. So we said that persecution includes threats of immediate harm, torture does not, okay? Um, there's also a higher burden of proof, just like withholding, you have to show that it's more likely than not you're going to experience persecution if you return to your home country. Um, also, like withholding, this is not a pathway to residency and you can't have benefits for your spouse who's abroad or your children that are abroad. This is just, um, a form of relief that the U.S. government has to provide for individuals who can prove that they've been tortured and that they will likely be harmed if they return to their home country. Есть еще вторая категория, согласно Конвенции ООН против пыток, что а, вы можете подать, если вы действительно испытывали физическое насилие, пытки со стороны государства, или вы будете испытывать, потому что есть какие-то доказательства, что государство пытает людей, но это тоже а, очень высокий процент доказательной базы, нужно доказать, да, непосредственно. Но это не дает также вам никакую гарантию на получение резидентства. Соединенные Штаты, потому что США подписала эту конвенцию, и они предоставляют вам защиту временную, как жертву пыток от а, испытывания этого еще раз на территории вашей страны. Okay. I have a handout in the back that you can grab later. Um, it's the one with the American flag and then like the gay pride flag on it. Um, and so that's just a quick handout to like remember some quick facts about who's eligible for asylum, 
when you should apply and who you can reach out to. The main contact on there is Immigration Equality, which um, mm -hmm. a lot of people who come to New York City have heard of. The issue, well not the issue, I mean it's a benefit for them I suppose, is that there's a lot of folks that are going to Immigration Equality and oftentimes um, an individual may be waiting a very long time before they get an intake and you're certainly not guaranteed that you'll be matched with an attorney. Um, they select cases based on the attorneys that are available to work on those cases and um, the strength of the cases. So I have also have my card out there. My name's Sion Germu. Um, I have my card there, and you can reach out to me about filing an affirmative application, or if you're already in immigration court, um, I can talk to you about referrals or places that you may want to go for representation. Um, so I'm more than happy to answer any questions at the end. This is just quick slash not so quick information, okay? Thanks. И он говорит, том, что она, э, есть вся информация в той маленькой брошюрке, которую вам сейчас раздали, что она у нее есть карта ее, бизнес-карта, которая лежит там, можно связаться с ней по поводу программы, и, например, кто-то уже в иммиграционный суд идет, она может вас направить к тем, кто занимается иммиграционным судом. Соответственно, она будет в конце готова ответить на все вопросы.